Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with my last review from the Bath & Body Works Test Lab Candle Collection. This is Sriracha, and this whole collection only available online in white barn stores, not regular Bath & Body Works. Uh, this one I did not pick up because I thought I would like it. I picked it up because it's crazy weird and different, and it's kind of cool just to have it in my collection, um, but definitely not something where I smelled it and thought, oh yeah. I totally want my whole house to smell like this. Um, it's just weird. But I will tell you, it smells just like the notes, particularly on cold sniff, Thai sriracha, jalapeno pepper, crushed coriander, red chili. All those things are definitely present. It smells to me like I get coriander and chili powder. Like if you mixed those two spices together, Definitely, but then there's very much a jalapeno note too and something about it kind of smells like uh, if you've ever had like jalapeno potato chips and you open the bag and you get that scent. Again, it's a weird thing to want in a candle. Um, so this, uh, you can probably tell from looking at it, I haven't burned it a whole lot. I This is not like an informed review. I'm just trying here. It's really hard to review this candle, but I just burned it once, you know, because I just bought it for my collection. I did light it up just to see, just because I was curious and I wanted to tell you guys how it smelled when it was burning, but I just couldn't bring myself to like burn it halfway down for a review. So I'm just gonna try my best to tell you about my one experience burning it. When I was burning it, it smelled, and uh, if you watched my haul video, you know I did compare it to actual sriracha, and the difference is with the actual sriracha, it smells much more like a sauce, and I feel like you get like the vinegar and all of that that's in it when you smell the actual sriracha. Whereas the candle, it's just the spice. I mean, it really just smells more like raw spices. And when it's burning, I felt like I got like a waxy smell, and then I got the spices, but those two things didn't meld well. So I, in my exotic light tree review, I was talking about how that one had like a waxy scent and I feel like I got the same here. Not the weird oily kerosene smell that sometimes Bath & Body Works candles will give off, but just like a waxy, almost like you're burning an unscented candle, but like you can still kind of smell something when you're burning an unscented candle, right? Got that. And then I got the spices. Uh, and the spice component is not too strong and you wouldn't want it to be. If this candle was like throwing a 10, your eyes would be watering, it would be terrible. The spices really are more like a four out of 10, like as far as how strong that scent is. And same thing with the throw, just like a three or a four for the throw for this candle. And that's all you would want though. You don't want this kind of scent to be too intense. Um, but, I just felt like it didn't, like it's, it smelled like the raw spices and it didn't come together and like warm up and smell like you were cooking anything. That, I don't know if I want to say that would be nice because I still don't know that I want a candle that makes it my house smell like I'm like cooking fajitas or something like that, right? But it would be probably better. But I still, I felt like there was a disconnect between like I'm getting a waxy smell and then it smells like chili pepper or powder or like coriander um but it just didn't really mix but it was just weird it was weird it, I wasn't really enjoying it I just waited till it cooled out which took a while uh and then I put it out and I was like you know that's gonna be good enough for this review <laughs> uh but I would recommend this candle if you are looking for something weird and different to just have in your collection because it's cool it's a talking piece um it's kind of like tomato vine. So some people had compared it to tomato vine and I don't think that they smell the same. Um, if anything, the tomato vine candle smells like more like the arugula candle in this collection because it's just like a green scent um, and it has a little bit of pepper in it though that maybe is a little bit like this. But I bought the tomato vine and only have burned it a couple times because I don't really love it burning, but it's, it's just cool and different and weird to have. Same reason I bought Sriracha. So if you're a collector, you might want to think about picking this up. It's not something I'm stocking up on, but I like having this one. And uh, I am curious to know if anyone out there loves it and totally like is burning it all the time and is buying multiples and likes the scent of it. Let me know. There's got to be somebody, but for me, yeah, I, I prefer it just sitting on my shelf, being kind of weird and quirky. 
Overall, with this whole collection, um, I feel like from the five out of 14 that I burned anyway, um, the running theme was that they were all a little weird and different. None of them were intensely strong. Um, and a lot of them smelled a little different burning than they did on cold sniff. But no burn problems with any of them, which might be because they all have white wax. And I think the colored wax sometimes is what results in Puny Wick Syndrome or the opposite where your flames are too high. Um, the labels are pretty okay. I had no problem with them at all. And I, I enjoyed this collection. I want to applaud Bath & Body Works for coming out with this collection because it was exciting. Even though there weren't too many scents in the collection that I personally just like absolutely love. Uh, love the lavender cacao. Um, and I also really like the Thai coconut basmati. Um, but even though those were the only two that I wanted to really stock up on, I really liked just smelling this whole collection because it was new, the scents were new and not repackages. It was different, it was it was all kind of weird and interesting. It's been a while since I walked into Bath & Body Works and got really excited about smelling a new collection. But this was fun. It was exciting to go to the store and see all these new scents and smell all these different weird, crazy ones. And it was fun to review these, so I hope that that they do more of this in the future. Less repackaging mahogany, teak wood, and watermelon lemonade over and over again, and more creative efforts like this. So thanks Bath Body Works for putting out this collection. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. And now, I can't let you guys go without saying I have seen the summer test candles. So if you're on Instagram, there are quite a few Instagrammers who are sharing uh, summer test candles. I would say check out Bath Mighty Works Daily Finds if you're looking for one um, that has a lot of information on it. And yeah, it's as expected. A lot of repackages couple new ones that might be intriguing, um, but nothing that's making me get really, really excited. So we'll have to just wait and see. Um, but this, this was, this was cool. So hopefully we'll see more like this in the future. Uh, but stay tuned for new summer scents and things like that. In the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.